up to Scott through watching the Golden State Boston game. <laughs> if you didn't know the record, you think it was just a continuation of the finals. I mean, they shut down Jason Tatum. He looked off. Jalen Brown came up all right. Steph Curry looked MVP ish. He's looked great this season. But the man that they already call Wash, and you know, and they quick to write him off. The guy who should have been one of the 75 greatest players and one of my favorite players ever, Clay Thompson, was lighting their butt up. They had no answers for Clay. And the worst thing can happen to the NBA, if Clay gets cooking, they are almost unbeatable. Because as great as Steph is, and I can, you know, you can have Steph as a top. I have Steph in my top 10 all the time. I may even have him higher. I don't know. Steph can change the course of basketball. I hold him in high regard. But I'm going to tell you something. If Clay is going, oh, they ain't going to beat you. They're going to smoke you. Boston just does not – they just were a step off. Golden State's defense came up. They've been average so far, but they came up. And they might just be gearing up for the postseason. They might be just gearing up for legit teams. They just be kind of like nonchalant because they know they're going to make the playoffs. They know that they can beat certain teams. No, Golden State ain't going to hit you with that quick or hit and run like they did when they peaked in prime years ago. But make no mistake about it, they hit you on a good night. They can wear you out. And Boston kept it kind of close, but Golden State just had too much firepower. I mean, they beat that butt. I was kind of surprised our Boston defense would be a little bit better. They'd be more geared up. They got waxed. And uh, Steph and Clay, the baddest bad court ever. And, you know, Steph's the king of the outside, of outside shooting. But Clay's right in that argument, too. Clay can be anywhere you want to be from two to four. You really can, because Larry Bird, Reggie Miller, Ray Allen, take your pick. But Clay Thompson's in that circle, and they showed it tonight. They waxed that behind. And Golden State, I'm telling you, as long as Steph and Clay are there, they're deadly. But if Clay gets off, and they got seem like they got Jason Tatum's number for all this trying to make him into be a superstar and all this hype. He got to come up when it's big. I actually heard, I forgot who it was who said, uh, oh, I think it was Shannon Sharp who said that if they play like they've been playing so far, they would have swept Golden State in the finals. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, well, after tonight, they don't look no different than they did in June. Not really. Boston has got to get something else. They got too much of the same. But anyway, give me your thoughts on this. Golden State wax Boston in the first game of the rematch since the finals. Forget the records, because Golden State was a better team tonight, and Clay Thompson put a lot of people on notice. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Share the video if you want to. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And I just caught a bit of it. What I caught, I saw more than enough. Well,